Uh, he was pulling my hip, and I was swinging away to sell the call. Made contact with him. Um, as you know, I'm not one to apologize for things I meant to do, but I do apologize to you, sir. Um, because I didn't intend to hit him. Uh, I sell calls with my arms. I don't fall or to sell a call. I don't, I'm not a flopper. So I was just selling the call because he was grabbing me and pulling my hip back. So I spun away and unfortunately I hit him. And so like I said, I apologize to you, Seth, um, because I didn't intend to hit him. Yeah. I mean, I, as I've said before, any replay, you know, if I go look at every replay of everything, um, a replay is they, it's never going to look good, you know. But like I said, I know my intentions. My intentions were to sell the call, um, and you know, I also don't think I'm an accurate enough puncher to do a full 360 and and, and connect with someone. Um, so. It's unfortunate. Last time when you got suspended a couple weeks ago, they, they, they said that there was a history of unsportsmanlike acts was a factor in your suspension. Do you anticipate that happening again? I don't know. Um, we'll see. Like I said, I know what my intentions were, um, and that's really all I can speak on. And then after the last suspension, you talked about how important it was to be there for your teammates. And Steve made a point today saying they need you to, to win games. I, yeah, I'm aware. Um, and like I said, if I intended to do that, you know, then I'd feel awful about not being there. Um, but my intentions were just to sell the file. And he was, as you can see, as I'm posting up, he's moving forward. So as I'm moving back, he's still coming forward. And um, like I said, it's unfortunate. I didn't, I, again, I apologize to Nurkic. Um, <clears throat> because I, I hit him. So I do apologize to him, because, and I didn't intend to hit him. So I think you guys have known me long enough. If I intended to do something, I'm not apologizing for it. Um, but I did make contact with him, so I apologize because it wasn't my intention. Do you think you deserve this flagrant two? Or that's the flagrant two? It's, it's a hard hit, you know? So um, if you listen to the definition of a flagrant two, it's an excessive hit, you know? So I can't argue that it was a flagrant too, um, because I did make contact, you know. Uh, so now, as I said, my intent wasn't to make contact. So if that's a part of the definition, then I know for sure it wasn't. But I made contact, and it was it was it was hard contact. So I think the flagrant two was warranted. Uh, it's a hit above the net, um, or at least I think the net somewhere over here. Um, and it's hard contact. So that would meet the definition for sure of, of a flagrant two. But as I said, it wasn't my intention um, to make that, that contact, any contact at all, really. Like I said, I was spinning away and trying to sell the file. But yeah, I think it definitely meets, you know, the definition for sure. Um, but my intent wasn't to hit him. to be some sort of alteration to how you approach these situations to not put the team in a situation where you may not be available? Yeah, but that's not that situation. Um, that situation is me trying to sell a foul call. So on most situations, yes, I'd agree with you. Uh, can't put the team in a bad spot. But I didn't intend to put the team in a bad spot. I intended to get a foul. And I made contact with them. So, uh, yes, in most situations, and, you know, to Steve's point, of course, I need to be there for us to win. I understand that, which is why I haven't been arguing with Ruff since I've been back. I haven't done any of those things because I do understand that. You know, I haven't gotten into it with any players um, since I've been back because I do understand that. Unfortunately, bad luck. Um, trying to draw a foul and I made contact with him. Yeah, I'm here.